Okay guys, in this video we're going to blend the uh, base area with the top area. Uh, you can see here that they're both intersecting, so the first thing we need to do is trim them back. Um, so to do that we just need to put a couple of straight lines in. Okay, just like that. Now I'll use this one to trim this surface. Oops. Uh, sorry, this one to trim that surface. Okay, and this one to trim this surface. Okay, uh, so that looks like. And if it's too much, we can always go back and undo it. Uh, to blend these two together, all we need to do is go to surface and blend surface. Okay, you can see that that's going to create a new surface, uh, we want to hit, you can either use curvature or in this case I'll use G3, it just has more points to control. We can adjust these sliders here as to how much of the surface we want to bring into the curve, so that just adjusts the size of our fillets. And just do that till our surface looks nice and smooth and that looks okay. I just can hit EMAP and have a look. Looks pretty good. Just want to make sure you're not getting any real weird pinching or anything, but that looks pretty good. We have a stick blender. Now, again, EMAP is just environment mapping, it just makes it chrome. Um, you can try that, or you can also do uh, Zebra. Same difference. Um, I might just put these surfaces on the change their layer so it's all the same color onto my surfaces layer. It's not perfect, we're getting some wobbles through here and things like that, but um, you can go through and try fine tune that. I'll just turn off my ISO curves. Um, and if we're all happy, um, you're ready to join all this up. So hit join and you are done. There you go. Now what we can do now is just make sure we turn these curves off. Oops. And we can continue working on our stick blender. Uh, and in the next video we'll add some buttons and details to the front section. Alright, thanks guys.